Hey everyone and welcome back to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. On this video we're doing the quest, Sunshade Silk's Clan Contribution. That can of course be found at the Sunshade Silk's Navi Camp, which is pretty much directly to the north of us. So let's go ahead and summon in Talisi. There she is. Ah, oh, there you are. And here we go. Let's get up high so we can look down and find the camp. And there it is. Easy. I got that nice waterfall nearby. I like that. Actually, two waterfalls. They got a pretty sweet spot. Okay, we've arrived. So, we got a quest giver right there. There might even be two. Yep, there's another one right over there, but we're going to ignore them and go to the basket. You are courting trouble. So, they are looking for a vine shroom of superior or better quality. And I don't believe we have a vine shroom. That's a rarer ingredient. We do not. So, let's look at our hunter's guide. And there's vine shroom right there. Most commonly found hanging below floating mountains throughout Pandora. Rarer vine shrooms are often found at higher altitudes on floating mountains throughout Pandora. So, we clearly want to go to the boundless range, which we will. But before we do that, let's actually head to the south. Because there is a bell sprig nearby that we can go pick up. So, pretty much directly south, we'll hit the river and then we'll basically be there. Oh, something's angry. What is it? It's just a viper wolf? Looks like it. The solitary one? That's weird. Yeah, by itself. Poor guy. I'd feel bad if he didn't attack me. He lost his pack. Alright, so we're coming up on the river. We should be near it. Navi senses still haven't picked anything up. It might be over there. I think it's over here. Yep, there it is. Bell sprig. Look at that waterfall. So cool. All right, so we need to get into this tree trunk here, or branch, whatever it is. And here's our bell sprig. Health permanently increased. All right, so now we will fast travel over near the Boundless Range. Uh, let's see. Let's actually go to the Glade of Light because I want to get those King King Lore uh, flowers on our map. And then we'll head over to the Boundless Range. And then after that, there's some more King Lore flowers right there. So we'll get both of those on the map. So to the Glade of Light. All right, Talisi, help me out. All right, 
so those Kingler flowers are... Let's see, I gotta swing around a bit. Over here. Right? Or am I turned around? I thought they were right over here. Yeah, it's like right over here, isn't it? I guess not. I am turned around for some reason. Let's look at the map. Oh, I went a little too far. They're right over here. So there we go. King Lore Flowers. Let's head up to the mountains. Let's try these nearby ones. Actually, I wonder... I forgot to pin the vine shroom. Let's go ahead and do that. And I wonder if there's one on the arches. Let's unpin Skyrock Moss. We'll pin the Bind Shroom. Oh, wait. Maybe? Oh, look at that. They do grow on the arches. I did not know that. All right, so we just have to fly through it. But will it be high enough quality? And why didn't that work? <laughs> I'm not sure why that's not grabbing it. It's always done it automatically for me. Maybe I have to like... Okay. Yeah, I guess I have to be going quickly. Oh, it's just fine. We need better. Alright, perhaps up here then. But that is good to know that it grows on arches. I don't see anything there. Oh, actually. There is something. Well, there's two there, but they're not glowing, which means they're probably... Oh, wait. They are glowing. Sweet. This should work. Or this will definitely work. There we go. I somehow grabbed it from back there. And it is indeed superior quality. Alright, let's go grab the King Lore flowers. Or rather, put them on my map, and then we'll head back to the camp. So it should be right past these floating mountains. In fact, it might even be sort of below it. It's not that tree, is it? Oh! Right, it actually shows up on my Navi senses, which the last one didn't. I feel like my Navi senses have been very unpredictable lately. But here's our tree. King Lore Flowers. All right, we got it. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to the camp. Nope, not leaning glade. Keep going. Sunshade silks. Alright, we got our basket here. Alright, so Vine Shroom. Contribute that. Oh, and is my... We might have maxed favor. or If not, we're very, very close. And for some reason, it didn't tell me it was complete. But it should be in my completed list. Yep, I don't know why it didn't show me. All right, but we have a ton of favors, so we should really go spend that. Otherwise, we're just wasting it. So why don't we head over to Home Tree and see what we can do. Is that 
happened to Inetua were right about the King Lord after all. Catnat will not allow this insolence. Oh, maximum clan favor. Yep, we maxed it out. Can I help with something? Alright, so do we want any of this stuff? Probably not. We could get plus 10% clan favor from quests and activities, but that's already... <laughs> we already have too much. Karana's improved pouch, wastecloth mod, improved Lombo quiver. I don't care about that. So we won't get her Let stuff. Let me know if I can help with anything else. How can my silks help in war? More What's arrow this? strings, maybe. Oh. Material basket? I guess I may as well. Superior crimson mushroom. Etua is a right. war with the sky, the sky people. people are scum. Times are changing indeed. Do not. What are you looking for now? Well, I guess we could just get some superior ingredients. Might be better than anything else. Oh, and a free Yoden egg. I guess I'll receive that. Well, what of these can I not get on my own? I don't think I can get fragrant herbs on my own. So let's go ahead and buy this, I suppose. Oh my god, that used some of my favor. What? Use it well. Yeah, this is the problem. I don't know if they have much that I actually want. But I'd hate to waste. Etua is a champion. We should all follow her in battle. What is it you need? Alright, do you have anything interesting? No, not really. She does have Katangi's finely braided string for the longbow. Chain reaction plus 5% damage on additional hits against the same target. Stacks up to three times. Maybe? That'd be giving up 15% wildlife damage, though. That doesn't seem worth it. Yeah, unfortunately, I just don't really feel like they have much. What about the longbow? No. You know what we could potentially do? Stay sharp. If we go to our skills in the maker tree there's renowned crafter oh but we need stable hands first renowned crafter all navi crafting experts are now willing to entrust you with their best materials and recognition of your skill as a master crafter so that might be something worth getting just so they'll give me stuff i care about but just so we get something but war sudden too this is unexpected just so we get something, I suppose we'll just what get more looking for now? exquisite ingredients here. So maybe like an exquisite mud crawler fish would be good. And I don't know, maybe we just buy all of his exquisite stuff. Let's do that. There we go. That didn't Fine. didn't do much. It well, what? It's something. All right, so we are low on energy. Let's use some food. We will Meat slice salad will do the trick. And let's see if we can cook something new with these ingredients. I kind of doubt it, but maybe. Maybe like exquisite mud crawler fish and an egg. Oh no, that's sloppy seafood. What about hexapede meat? No. Just experimenting here. Don't know if it's gonna be anything. Hidden fruit? No. Oh, what about the herbs? Oh, well, there we go. Mud crawler fish and fragrant herbs. We'll make something new. Why don't we see what that does? Stealthy one, ew, for 50 minutes though. Gain plus 35% to stealth. A helping of fried fish seasoned with various herbs that bring new depth to the flavor. And I guess we can make something else. Maybe we start with a mushroom and an egg. Hey, there we go. What's this do? Egg stuffed mushroom. 
Ambush one for 25 minutes. Steal plus 35% stealth damage. Oh, this is stealth related. A veritable omelet within a huge mushroom. The insides are steamed well and the texture is nice and spongy. All right, our food pouch is full. Not exactly food I'm excited to eat, but they are new. Everyone says they can cook, but no one does it like me. All right. Let's go to our journal, knock off those new recipes from our list. There we go. And we do have those three skill points, but I don't know where I want them to go yet. Like I said, it is tempting to get Renowned Crafter, but we'd need five skill points to do that. So we can't quite pull that off. But that one's a possibility, because I just need them to give me some better stuff. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.